So you might have just got a Steam Deck for Christmas. Or maybe you're thinking about buying one with all that cold hard cash you got in your cards from grandma and grandpa this year. Well, wait, because this is the Aeonia 2 and it's better than the Steam Deck in some ways. Hi, I had no idea that I was getting this. I also had no idea I'd be opening it with this. This is Bob from Bob Wolf. Also. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Before this video continues, there are two things you need to know. One, I show a lot of footage of playing Call of Duty Warzone 2 on this thing. Don't do it. I was actually very surprised with how well it ran. Like I was excited to start playing this game portably, but my account got banned because I violated terms of service. I think it's something about the way the pads work with the game. It thinks I'm trying to use a mouse, but with auto aim assist, I don't know. But if you don't want your account to be banned, don't play on this. Although something you can do if you want some, you know, free drinks. You guys remember when we gave away a ton of free gamer subs? Well, we're doing it again. Again, for the next 24 hours, completely free and free shipping, you can get free gamer subs. You don't even need to put in a credit card. So this time, it's only 24 hours. If you want to buy some gamer subs, if you already got the free stuff last time and you know you like it, you can use code BEATEMUPS to get free shipping right now. And if we're outside of that 24-hour little bonus window, you can still use my code and get a discount. Look. I love this stuff. It's sugar-free, calorie-free, delicious energy. They also have caffeine-free. Oh, and they even have food now since we started working with them. They have these sus snack bars. They're only 100 calories and they have eight grams of protein. You can buy these with code beat em up. So if you want to get some gamer subs, it directly supports the channel. It actually helps me out a ton. Again, it's free. It's free. Oh, you don't have to buy it. It's free. Do you want to get a free drink? Just click the link down below and you'll have free drink straight to your house worldwide too. You, you could live in, where's a random place, Kim? Bulgaria? I love game of subs. <laughs> the best part is there's no lead. All right, let's get back to the video. I got a lot to talk about. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Bob Wolf also takes a look at a lot of these fancy, wacky controllers. Can I be honest about this? I've done a couple of I and Neos. They got too much. They, they got to stop. Yes. Too much. Yeah. They sent me this for free and I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. But this is not sponsored and I can say whatever I want. And we're going to start with, you're doing too much. Yes. <laughs> there you was like four you made last year. The quality of this gets better and better mm -hmm. in the packaging, the design, the actual product itself. Everything feels more and more legit. I liked the air. I the loved air the air. Good. I actually really liked the air. The gifts get better and better. And this time there's a whole freaking gift box. I've oh. never got gifts. Well, oh, no, I got the keyboard. The keyboard was cool. <laughs> yeah, you did. I got it in the yeah, other room. I've been touching yeah. a lot today. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, this is Ooh, it's cute. Oh my god. It looks like they actually <gasps> finally sent a dock. Every time they've ever sent me one of these consoles, they always say, we have a dock. We didn't send it though. So let's take a look at the dock. It's called the Aeonium Multistation because you can wiggle and jiggle the little connector point around here. And the reason why they did that, Aeonium has made many freaking consoles this year alone. My tally right now is up to four and each one is a different form factor. So I guess they decided the best thing to do is just make a dock that's universal. You can jiggle it around to fit whatever A and Neo you have. Comparing it to the Steam Deck dock, I mean, they both serve their purpose, but I do like that you actually dock this as opposed to whatever is happening over here with this little guy. Coffee cup. Is an I and Neo coffee cup. You're coming around. I'm coming, You're coming around, around on the A and Neo. Also a screen protector, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, that bleep that. <laughs> oh, it smells nice. <laughs> I just smelled your fingers. <laughs> it was like my thumb more than anything. AMD Ryzen 7 6800U, cool. Oh, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. She's coming up. Oh, big old stick of butter. Sweet. So you want to do like brunch tomorrow or something? I'd love to do brunch. Is okay. there brunch places near here? There actually is. <laughs> oh, it just, just sat there. That's really sleek. Oh, 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 hello. That's kind of sexy. It's screaming Wii U pad vibes. Oh, it is? Yeah. You know, this isn't, it's not that much bigger. 
No, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger. bigger. It's a lot bigger. Let's talk about how it feels to play the a and 2. As far as actually playing it though, and the comfortability, I like the a and 2 a lot. They worked in tandem with this company that makes the King Kong 2 Pro Controller. You can't get stick drift with these bad boys. At least that's the idea. Everything about it feels super quality. The biggest advantage for me is you just have the classic sticks d-pad and buttons where they should be i do love my steam deck just having the d-pad and buttons up here it's weird it's really hard for me to get used to i do like these track pads but let's be honest we don't use them this thing is just more straightforward and more comfortable and probably just more what i'm used to also they weigh about the same Pretty equal. No visible screws on the 360 full body. What is that a feature? I guess the other ones you can see screws, but I gotta say, now that I know that, looks very clean. Whole piece of glass, no bezel design. I also that like is that. nice. That I, like I that. I gotta say, the no bezel is very nice. You look at the Steam Deck here, it's great. I love the way it looks, but you do obviously have this bezel and then the glass smack right here in the middle. I mean, it's a classic and there's nothing wrong with the way it looks, but this A and Neo, I don't know, man. And it's pretty sleek. All this around here is glass. So there is no bezel. There's no dip. There's no groove. It's all one flush piece. The only plastic you have is rounded out here around the buttons and the sticks. It's super futuristic. -y. Also, they gave it to me this time with windows not activated. Baby sleeping position grip. As I don't know, the picture has nothing in it. Ultra high capacity battery. It will see. <laughs> you don't get much juice out of it. Playing Elden Ring on full charge. Charge, I got about 45 minutes. Now that is a triple A game and to play it, you gotta boost everything up to pro mode. So it is sucking in air. Crisis Core lasted me about an hour, about an hour and 10 minutes on full battery before I had to charge, which I mean, I guess isn't terrible. I also played Crisis Core on the Steam Deck to see how long I got. And it was like an hour and a half on full charge before I started getting the low battery. So I mean, apples and oranges there. A good screen. <laughs> It says 1920 by 1200, but uh, the Steam Deck's only 720 ish. It is a Windows device, and I just turned a Windows device on, which means I gotta install things on which the means Windows. cut, yeah, which means cut. <laughs> I would comfortably say the a and 2 is better in many ways. The Steam Deck has a 1280 by 720p screen. It's not full HD, which is fine for a handheld. I've always been okay with that. But this 1920p screen, you're able to play every game in full HD resolution. There's none of that aliasing when you try squishing down a game to 1280. It's really clean and it pops. There's a drawback here. The higher resolution you play in, the more it sucks from a console. So how does the A&Neo 2 handle some of these more intensive games? Pretty good for the most part. The thing is though, playing the games at 1920, you probably can't boost most things up to high. You're probably gonna wanna play on medium or maybe even low, but then you are losing a lot of textures and lighting and shadows when you switch it down to low. So if you wanted, you could play the games at 1280, just set the resolution down and then boost everything up to high and you're gonna get better performance and better visuals out of the a 2, really across the board. But it's kind of up to you to do all the messing around with things to make it look as good as it can. And how much does that full HD mean to you? But I've been switching back between Crisis Core on the two consoles and ultimately the frame rates are definitely better on this, but I'm still getting a stable 30 on the Steam Deck. And for the price, it is just so impressive what the Steam Deck can do. So Bob did put emulators on this thing. It was a little more convoluted though than we wanted it to be. So on a scale of one to 10, how fun is it to set up an A and Neo, Bob? Yeah. One to ten. Mm -hmm. Fun level. Mm -hmm. um, well, I can't see anything. Yeah. And that makes it really fun to use all the rest of your senses. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can hear that I'm about to click on emulation station. Can you hear over the yeah, fan? Yeah, I can hear it. Uh, did you say something? Did you hear over the fan? Ooh. It looks like we're somewhere. No? 
We're nowhere, we're nowhere. What happened? <laughs> we were halfway there. What happened? Once he got one working, he dumped all the ROMs. This bad boy was good to go. We were playing Smash 64 and it runs like a dream. I do know that emulating on the Steam Deck is actually pretty easy. I mean, that's really one for one. People look at the price tag of the a &E and they get blown away that it's so expensive comparatively to something like a Switch or a Steam Deck. The thing with the Steam Deck and Nintendo Switch and any gaming console, they always sell their consoles at a huge loss so that you sign up to PlayStation Now and sign up to PlayStation Plus and Game Pass and Games with Gold and then you start buying their software. When all those subscriptions and softwares kick in, they're gonna make their money back triple fold and selling the console to you that cheap doesn't matter in the long run. It's the same with Steam Deck. It only works with Steam unless you hack it. So you literally have to buy more Steam games, which is more money for Steam. A and Neo, they don't have that luxury. They don't have games. They don't sell software. Once you buy the one thing they sell, you're done. So they can't sell it at a loss. They're literally manufacturing and making PCs. But not only are you buying a PC, you're buying a pretty powerful mini PC that also has a controller built in. You're buying the screen, the speakers. You're buying everything that goes into making this little PC. If you purely are all about raw power and what you can do on the go, this is going to win every time, all the time. The battery life might be a lot shorter, but it's going to be able to do a lot more. I think the whole package it's very impressive, but it's Windows and it's up to you to do everything. So it's not very consumer friendly. If you want an example of that, I'll boot both up right now and try loading up Crisis Core. Here we go. Crisis Core on the a &Neo. It loads up like that every time in a tiny little window. Why? It is annoying, but it's fixable. However, if you were to do it on the Steam Deck, guess what, baby? It's just gonna work first time every time. You're not gonna have any issues with anything on the Steam Deck. It's so easy to use. I wanna keep justifying it because, I mean, for half the price, I would just go with the Steam Deck. If I'm gonna play one, I'm gonna play this one, but I don't wanna pay for it. <laughs> I feel like that's my opinion and outcome of every single one of these A&Neos I take a look at. They get better and better. I think they're always worth their price if you frame your mind as in you're buying a mini portable PC that you can play. The only thing I'll say, and Bob said it, and I'll keep saying it, a and &E has to slow down because they are devaluing their own product every time they put out a new one. Even though it's too rapid fire to build any trust in the product, that there won't be a better one for the same price in six months. Nintendo Switch, it's like six years outdated, but people keep buying it because it's their only option. And it doesn't seem like Nintendo's gonna do anything different anytime soon. It just is what it is. I got all of these like last year year. But both of these are sick. And technically, the a &E is better than the Steam Deck. But the Steam Deck just makes more sense. But I will thank a &E for sending me their console. And I hope they keep doing it every time because I love looking at them. And it's going to be hard to not play this because of how cool it is and I already have it. I just need to find a way to keep it charged longer. All right, guys, if you like this video and you like it when I review these wacky consoles, smash a like, subscribe, comment down below. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.